Hello Fairm Academy, this is Miss Chocorola. You may have seen me teach art in your lessons. Um, the art team has decided to make this video because some of you requested it. Um, this will be a great opportunity for you to practice your art skills at home. Please do share um, any feedback as your opinions are valuable to us. Right, so without further ado, let's get started. Right, so today's lesson we are going to be doing self-portraits. I know you find this um, topic really difficult, but if you can follow with me on this video and follow the facial proportions and the guidelines, you will be fine. Um, all you need is a mirror. This is a freestanding mirror, um, which will be better than having a uh, a handheld mirror because you'll be holding it and you'll be drawing at the same time which will be really difficult. Um, paper, any paper would do. I'm going to be using an A3 cartridge paper and a pencil. So if you could uh, use a HP pencil, the lighter the better. I'll be using a charcoal so that you can clearly see um, the picture very clearly from where you are. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, right. So we're going to do this together. So first of all, get your pencil, get your paper ready. Um, and then I want you to follow me. So first of all, your mirror, position where you want your mirror. Okay, so I'm going to position right in front of me. Okay, so we are going to do an angle looking forward. Okay, not side angle, forward. We're going to start doing that. First of all, look at the shape of your face. Okay, so most of you, well, should be all kind of an oval shape. So with your pencil, so I'm going to do it with a charcoal so you can see. Very gently, light, yeah, very lightly with your pencil. Let's don't add a lot of pressure because what we're going to do is we're going to go over and over, over again until we're happy. Okay, so kind of like so. Do your. It's kind of like an arch, yeah. So do your arch like that. Okay, or like an upside down C. And then try to make it smaller at the bottom, yeah? So it, it narrows it down. So think of it like an upside down egg, okay? So try and fill up your paper. Don't, don't, um, if I could, don't just do very small ones. Okay, so don't be afraid. Go for it. Fill it up. Okay, so in the middle, go over until you think you like your shape. And you can. Right. Okay. And if you don't like it, you could rub it out and have a little practice. Okay, so have we all done an oval shape? Okay, so if you're not very happy and you say, oh, that looks quite, you know, quite long and thin face, and I haven't got a long, thin face, this should be a little bit wider. You could always, um, charcoal's quite good for this, but you could rub, because you've done it lightly, you could easily rub it out. Again. So this will take a, I mean, take 10 minutes of practicing doing oval shapes. Go for it. Just keep, go for it. So remember, like an upside down egg. Just keep go over it. Okay? And you think, ah, oh, yes, I'm really happy. Then you can stop. Okay. So the next stage is... We are going to draw 
a symmetry line, okay, or a line of symmetry. So you don't need a ruler. So find where the middle is of the top of your head. So say that's the middle. So just draw a line here. So it's kind of with your finger just to see if it matches. Yeah, and then this is the hard bit, but don't worry if it's not straight. Just draw a line. But do it very gently, light pressure, because this is just your guidance line, because we're going to rub all this out, you know, so you don't, you don't need to um, pressure, your, pressure it too much. So do it very, very lightly. Okay. So I've done my line of symmetry. Okay, so now we're going to measure. So we're going to divide this into four parts. So we're going to divide it into four parts, and we're going to divide it by a um, yeah, so into four. So let's say, so start from use your finger and your thumb. It should be equal. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. So try. From there to there. So it should be about that kind of, yeah? That much? Like capital C. Can you see my C? Capital C. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need a ruler. You don't need to measure it. Just show me your C, your thumb and your index finger. Okay? And just place the index finger on the top of the head. And make sure you don't move. So don't move your finger and your thumb. So that's one. I'm not moving it. I'm going to place there where I've indicated the line again. Two, three. So it should be round about here. Four. Okay. Now I want you to draw a line, one, two, three. So what we've done is we've divided it into four, yeah? So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, ooh, it's not straight. Again, that's why it's very important that you have to do it lightly with your pencil. So you can go over again. Okay, so you could maybe with a rubber if you want to just rub it out. Okay, so we've done that. This part is your hairline. That's the top of your head. That is the mid that should be the middle. Yeah? The middle of the shape, of the oval shape, that's your middle, okay? So this is where your eyes are going to be, okay? This should be the tip of your nose, and that's going to be your chin here, that's your hairline. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we'll start with the eyes first, okay? Now the question is, where am I going to start my eyes? Am I going to start here? Am I going to start there? there? So this is where you have to do good looking. You need to look at the mirror. So I know where your nose is. If you can look in the mirror, there's that, that bit there. Is that bit there. So again, you could, you could measure the distance from there to where your eye starts. So you can use the mirror to help you. So I would say it starts from here, and of course we, again, try it on that side as well. So that's the start of my eye. So remember, the reason why we have a line of symmetry is that we this side of the face has to be exactly the same as this side. It has to be all positioned in the correct level. And then what we're going to do is find because all of our eyes are different. So it's all different shaped. 
So where exactly I would say, so start from the side of your head and I would say you could also what you could do is you could use your pencil to measure as well. So use if you can see me. So I would say it would ends here. Okay? Just just here. So I'm going to use this line. This is the top of my eyes. That's the top. Okay? Again, I'm going to measure there. So that goes there. So the same length. So we're going to do another arch. Okay? And then you look at the mirror and then that's when you do your shape. difficult to do exactly the same on the other side it just that's why you have to keep looking constantly at the mirror keep looking so this should be the same right now that I've done the shape of my eyes I'm going to do my eyelids so I can see the eyelids I can see my eyelids, so it starts from here, goes all the way around to there, and same down here, all the way around, and down to there. Okay? So remember, the line that we did, you do the top of your eye, yeah? the top of it and then you go and the bottom remember it should be below that line okay and then you do your eyelids over it okay so now we're, um, we're going to be adding um, the pupil aren't we so let's see so I would say I'm looking at the mirror it should be in the middle and make sure it doesn't touch that bottom line here okay because some of you I see you when you're drawing you do your pupils like that which is wrong so it should not be touching the bottom line there should be a little bit of white underneath there okay but because I've rubbed mine I don't know if you can see it and then I've got there you go so what we're going to do is I'm not going to do any details any um, shading anything like that all I'm concentrating is to get the facial proportion correct yeah Right, so remember this is my hairline. I may need to measure actually, just make sure it's the same. Ah, because I've increased the chin here, I need to, that's why you always have to double check. So it should end here. Let's rub that bit out. Okay, now um, let's rub that bit and do the nose. So we're going to do the nose now. Okay. So if that's the tip of my nose. So I've done a, another up, upside down C, go around, so you get that kind of shape 
like two heels or a wave. So go up, down, up. Make sure that side's the same as that side. So I can see they're not quite the same. So you just have to make sure that's the same. Maybe use your fingers again, you're measuring. Yep, yeah, it's exactly the same. And let's close in. Keep looking. So don't worry about shading at the moment, just get the shape right. Remember, and your lines. So you've, in year seven, I think you've all done your visual elements, you've studied. Do my my eyebrows. Okay, so heart. When you start your eyebrows, does it start from here, here, here? Okay. So again, I look at my eyelids. I would say roughly, it should be around here. And then where does it end? Look at the mirror. There's my eyes, so it passes my eyes down to here. So it's quite thick here. And then it goes fine. Okay, so again, just do your lines. I'm not going to do any um, eyelashes or anything like that. That will be on the next video. I'm just going to do, try and concentrate on the shape. Okay, so I've done my eye, done my eyebrows, so I'll do the other side. So again, where, so that it starts from here. Sometimes, I when I look at, when I'm looking at myself, I know this eyebrow is quite very different to this one. So most people's eyebrows are different, they're not all the same. That's a bit up in here. Okay, so let's finish doing that bit. Remember, when we're doing you just draw a circle. Try not to touch that bottom bit. As if you can. And in the middle, a little black, little dot like that. Okay? The nose is very difficult, isn't it? I find the nose really difficult. I'm trying to get it to exactly the same. But you can see the nose. Okay, so my eyes. So that should look the same as that. Right, now um, let's do the mouth. So the mouth should be halfway between the tip of the nose and the chin. It should be about halfway, so that should be in the middle, yeah? So we do two nice little triangle shape. I have a very small mouth. Your bottom lip should be quite bigger than your small lip. my chin. Okay, now I'm going to start looking at my face. My face is, when I look at the mirror, I know that my face is not very, th not that thin. So, it kind of goes straight to here. And then from there, it goes Actually, from the not from the tip of my nose, 
it starts from just below here. So it goes straight down to there. And what I can do is I could measure again. So with your guidelines you can start rub rubbing these out, you don't need them anymore. Right, so, so far you can see the shape of the face is um, forming, the eyes, okay, are in the same level, you've got your eyebrows in the same level, your nose in the same level, okay. Um, So make sure your eyes are not too close. So make sure your eyes are not too close together, okay? So I would say a distance apart, maybe that much. Can you see? Maybe that much. Yeah? Not too, not too wide and not too close, so that much. Okay, and now I'm going to do um, the e oh the ears. We've got the ears, haven't we? So the ears. So again, eyes are halfway between the top of the head. Yeah, halfway between the top of the head and the chin. So my ears. Do you think my ears go here? So let's have a look at the mirror. I'm looking at the mirror. No, my ears does does not start from the eye level here because it slightly goes up, I would say, just have a look, mm, yeah, somewhere around here. Again, do your shape, so it goes, go round, and then, where does it end? So look at your nose, does it pass your nose? No. So it stops kind of here. Okay, does it stick out too much? Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that's when you have to do your keep looking all the time. Right, again, I'm not really worried about adding details. Any shape. I'm just trying to get the shape right, okay? And then, to do the other side of the, you could use your pencil. So it just kind of starts from here. So we've been doing lots of measuring, haven't we? And then again, find how wide is it? The width, how wide? Somewhere around here, okay. So again, should be the same on the other side. Okay, right. Coming. Okay, so my hairline. So my hair, so again, you practice your different uh, thickness of lines, thin, thick, use your pencil, which direction are the lines going, so my lines I can see, they go from here to there, I've got some on this side, like the contour line. So keep looking where the lines are going, follow the lines, keep going, keep going. Just keep going, 
much until I don't see any white spaces. And I've got hair, a bit of like this as well. I'm flicking outside, got hair, a bit of hair coming out from there. Again, I've got lines from here. I've got a little bit of hair actually coming up from there as well. It doesn't really matter if the picture doesn't look like you. Just as long as you, the more you practice and practice, you'll get better. The most important thing is you have to make sure you are positioning your features correctly because some of you I've seen your eyes are down here, your eyes are here, your nose is um, too low or your eyes are too close. So you've got to get that measurement, measurement correctly and then you can start actually kind of looks like me. <laughs> kind of. So I've got my hair coming out from one end. I've got long hair. Again, if you're not happy, have a look at the mirror. Oh, actually, maybe a little bit down here. You can see, you can keep changing it. Isn't this brilliant? You keep changing it. And that's what artists do. If you're not happy with something, you could, you could manipulate it. You can change it. Yeah? Maybe I could change this. Maybe I could do that. But, yeah. Right, so I'm going to stop the video now, actually. I think that's me done. Um, so I, I know, um, so I've used my facial um, proportions, my guidelines, my face has been divided into a quarter. I started from the top to the chin, yeah? And when I look at it, yeah. Not bad. So in the next video, we can start learning doing some shading techniques and, and adding some details and some finishing touch. But yeah, so if you can have a go, I hope you were doing this with me because um, I would really, yeah, so um, give me your feedback and see what you think. Um, but yeah, um, that's it really. Bye!